All right, our next guest offers comprehensive pest control service to protect our ohana and our property. Back in our hale is Ian Mateo. How are you, brother? I'm right, and you? From Pest Tech Hawaii. Thank you so much for being here. One of these days, we're going to have you go inspect our walls over here. But bye, bye not today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about termites and cockroaches and ants a little bit later on. But yeah. today, we're going to focus our attention on the coconut rhinoceros beetle. Yes, sir. Um, I, 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 we, can we talk about how big they get and, and do they bite? Uh, they don't bite, they don't sting, they don't poke you with their big horn, mm -hmm. um, but they are scary, ugly, and they fly at night. Yeah. <laughs> and they oftentimes just dive bomb into stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, the adults get up to two inches long. It is the largest beetle species we have in Hawaii. That is so crazy. Yeah. Um, and I know they also, the potential for them to uh, carry disease yeah. is there as well. So that's why it's uh, a little bit scary. So we gotta be careful of that. Yep. And that's why we need you to come in. We'll talk about how you you folks over at yeah. Pest Tech Hawaii, how you guys eradicate yeah. coconut, rhinoceros, beetles. But what are some of the impacts to our, you know, our, our local, our, our ecosystem, our uh, economy? Well, I mean, the most obvious is the coconut trees, right? Mm -hmm. um, but not just coconut trees, but any palms. And if those food sources aren't available, they'll move into other tropical fruit-bearing trees. And so they will absolutely decimate your coconut trees, right? Um, an adult coconut rhinoceros beetle will fly up to a mile from where they started wow. to come infest your tree. They eat the sap in the crown of the tree, mm -hmm. and then they lay their, their eggs around mulch or um, clutter at the bottom. Um, a female will have 50 to 100 eggs in her lifetime. Wow. 50 to 100 eggs. And That's then, a lot. And then they're just going out and, and eating all your palm trees and coconut trees in the area. Yeah, and I read that they also, if, if as you mentioned, if they don't uh, have that food source, they also go after hala. Uh -huh. uh, they can go after kalo. Yeah. And all, uh, some of our- um, Papaya. Papaya, banana yeah. leaves. So Sugarcane. It, this is so crazy. So it is. that's how we need you, Ian. Yeah. Pest Tech Hawaii. How do you guys eradicate? How do you handle the coconut rhinoceros beetles? Because I've been hearing some stories about some other companies. They're just like dumping chemicals and, and just really dangerous stuff. Yeah, so I mean, ironically, we're a pest control company, but we believe in responsible use of our pesticides, mm -hmm. right? Right. Um, anything with the word side in it means it's meant to kill. And so if we're gonna use stuff that's meant to kill, you should do it responsibly. Right. Um, and so we're able to treat the trees, and we're able to inject the trees so that the trees pick up chemical that will stop the beetle from feeding um, and kill them. And then we're able to treat around the trees where the beetles are laying their eggs and where the grubs come out. Um, but again, you know, when you're doing stuff like that, you need to do it extra responsible. Um, you need to do it surgically and not just by going out and just saying, hey, we'll dump all sorts of things out there. We'll kill the coconut rhinoceros beetles and the tree and you know, possibly affect our community. I like that. You don't want to carpet bomb. You want to do some surgical strikes, yeah. and that's that's really yeah. good. And you guys are super qualified to do that. Pest Tech Hawaii, how do we get a hold of you guys? Um, you can call us, 808-784-BUGS. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 784-2847, uh, or BUGS. And then, yes, of course, sir. you got the website. Yep. PTL PTHLife.com. PTHLife.com. Live in the Pest Tech Life. PTH oh, okay. Life. <laughs> Ian Mateo, owner of Pest Tech Hawaii. Thank you so much for being here, bro. Thank you. We appreciate it. Go yes, get sir. those coconut rhinoceros we beetles, will. bro. Absolutely. All right, uh, we're going to take a break in just a few minutes, but first, let's uh, celebrate Manapua Day. 